Hi everyone, I'm here today with Tim Waddington of Quality Nishkigoi in Warrington and today we're here to talk about Nexus. Hi Tim. How you doing mate? So what is it about the Nexus? You obviously sell a lot of them, huge supporter, you recommend the product. What is it about Nexus for you? Um, well, basically they work. Um, simplicity in installing them, if installed correctly. Um, we get As a dealer, you, you don't want callbacks, you don't want people yeah. ringing you up after you've done the job saying, this isn't working, this is broke, what's it doing this for? I can fix an excess over the phone. Right. Um, I don't have to go back on site, um, it's done and, and that's it. There's nothing can go wrong with them whatsoever. Okay. Um, and also, they, they produce fantastic water, so why wouldn't I support the unit? You know, and I've supported it from day one, um, always liked it. Um, yeah, no, just love them. And you've got customers with Nexus going back how long? 15, 16 years. And they're still running? All of them, every single one of them. And so just coming back to the water, you said about the water, so mechanically and biologically, yeah, absolutely. It's perfect. And the pond that we're talking, that this, this system's on now, which is the 4,000 gallon system, uh, when we built it, because we build ponds different um, for a shop, than what we would do yeah. at somebody's garden. You see, our ponds are not meant for growing or anything like that. These ponds are meant for holding ponds and sales ponds. Um, so we've got to make sure that these ponds will keep our fish in fantastic condition, yeah. uh, ready for sale. Yeah. Um, so we need the water to sparkle, we need the fish to be all feeding well, um, and that's it at the end of the day, and that's why we use it. Now this pond, we used, um, I know another another Evolution plug here, but we used the bombs on this system when we first set the it pure up. pure pond bomb. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we never had a reading in this system, never, yeah. never had a reading, yeah. um, which was quite amazing really. We put the 20 inch bead on originally, um, the only reason I changed it is because of the 2 inch pipe work coming off a 24 inch bead, I didn't, we, because all this system's 2 inch. And so, so, I didn't so you, sorry, you've got the K1 micro bead as yeah. well? Yeah, yeah, running on the skimmer line. Right. Which now for ponds of four to five thousand gallons, that's our only recommendation. Them yeah. two units yeah. will give you better water quality than anything. And so you say about water quality, how many fish can this pond hold? I mean, the load on this must be... Well, nice. before we built our quarantine system, this was our main quarantining pond, especially in the October times when we brought the large fish in. Um, the first year we had this running, we brought in, um, well, 60 boxes of fish went into that pond. So you're talking probably larger fish, you're talking about 200 pieces. Right. And they quarantined in there with no problem whatsoever. No problem, no readings, no nothing. Right. And you were one of the pioneers of testing out the auto system? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can you tell us about that? What changes has it made to your front of, and your customers' ponds? Uh, pretty much ease, really. I mean, I've not got one every pond because then Paul wouldn't have anything to do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, but no, the great, the great, just let them go, you know, just that's it. You just set it and go, and that's it. And, you know, we've got one down at a pond close by to here, which is, uh, has got four on it. Um, he never goes near his filter system anymore, he's on holiday all the time, um, if anything I've lost money by not doing maintenance on the system anymore, so no, the, the, and the first one we put on there, it's still the demo unit that yeah. we kept on there, yeah. and they've still never missed a beat. Any tips on frequency of cleaning with these, is there a setting you prefer? Well or? it makes no difference because the thing is with them, if you, I think a lot of people now, there are a lot of people on water meters, so it will sort of like, you know, it'll technically, it will stop people cleaning it as often as they'd want to do, with any filtration it's the same. But the middle system, people think that they might have to keep it running or you know keep to bacteria going. You can clean that every day. Yeah. So and why shouldn't you? you? As long as this outer chamber is all safe and you've got the bacteria growing yeah. in there, that's a mechanical filtration unit. So it's, it's like having out. anything else in there. You can clean that out every day and it won't do any harm to the system. And if you do clean it out every day, you get cleaner and cleaner water. So the finds that the new micro K1 takes out is unbelievable. It really is. And you know, even if you when we install them, it's quite interesting because even after two days of installing a Nexus. And we'll say to them, don't clean it for a week, but they can't stop themselves, you see, they have to clean it, you see, and then they'll ring me up and they'll go, I cleaned the unit. I said, I said, you'd leave it for a week, and they'll go, yeah, but you should have seen all the muck, so it needed doing. <laughs> and you're like, well, no, it didn't need doing, but, but the muck comes out very quickly on one of them. Yeah. So that's it, Nexus, with the automatic system, K1 micro bead, and pure pond bomb. Yeah, when we first started, when we initially started, we do, when we do put new fish in, um, from sort of like when we bring them in from the quarantine system into here, it is a bit of a big load all at once. Um, and we use the gel. Yeah. Uh, every time every time the filter cleans up, we'll just put a cap full in. Okay, and top so it the up. pure filter start gel, you're putting it into the moving bed? Yeah, into the yeah. moving bed, yeah. Brilliant. Okay. But Thanks. not a big not a big amount. Thank you very much. Yeah, no problem.